Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. Today's story is called Laban Tricks Jacob. You may also know it as Leah and Rachel, and it's taken from Genesis chapter 29, and after the story, I will invite you and all those in your family to read Genesis chapter 29 so you can see the whole story and you can have your own discussion. The action text is taken from Genesis 29, 18. Jacob loved Rachel. So he said to Laban, let me marry your younger daughter, Rachel. If you will, I will work seven years for you. Now on to your story. Last week, we spoke about Jacob's journey, and he had a dream. And during that dream, the Lord made promises to him. And after he awoke, he poured olive oil on the stone, and he also made promises unto the Lord. Now, after that dream, and after getting up and making all those promises, he continued on his journey. After a while, he saw some men taking care of the sheep. And he asked them about Laban. Do you know Laban? And they said, yes, we do. How is he doing? He is well. In fact, hey, here comes his daughter right now. And his daughter was taking care of the sheep. So Jacob went, he removed the stone and he allowed her to have water for the sheep. And then after a while, he broke down. He said, I am your cousin. Rebecca is my mom. We are family. And he held her and they embraced and they just greeted each other. And then when Rachel heard this, she ran to, to her dad and said, dad, come meet Jacob. He's here. And they met. And after a while, Laban took Jacob to his home. And Jacob said to him, okay, you know, I'm here. He told him the whole story, what happened in his life. And Laban just said to him, you know, you are my flesh and blood. Now, Jacob was there working free for Laban for about one month. And Laban, Laban said to him, now, I know we are family, but, you know, I can't have you working free for me now. So Jacob said, you know what? You have two daughters. Leah is the elder daughter. Rachel is the younger. But I want to get married to Rachel. And Nabal said, okay. Laban was like, okay. You know what? Work for me for seven years. And she's yours. Oh, and Jacob said, okay, no problem whatsoever. He worked for seven years, but that seven years just seemed like a little time because he was so happy. And after the seven years, he went to labor and said, you know what? I have worked my seven years. It's time to get my wife. And Laban said, okay, we'll have a feast. And, and there was a feast. And I could imagine Jacob the night before the wedding, all excited. I'm getting married. I'm getting married. All excited. And then the day came. And he got married. And I don't know if you notice this. In the case, they all disguise here. You see it here? So he knew there was a person. But there was going to be a big surprise for him. In the morning when he got up. He looked and he saw, that is Leah. That isn't Rachel. And he was upset. And he went back to Laban and said, hey, man, how could you deceive me like this? We had a deal. You did me wrong. What's going on with you? And Laban said, well, in our country, in our custom, hey, the younger sister can't get married before the older sister. I had to let you marry her first. And Jacob was so upset. And, you know, he wanted to get married to Rachel. And he said, okay, all right, what do I have to do? And Laban said, if you work for me 
for another seven years. Wow. So he worked seven years already, and now he has to work another seven years to get richer. And he said, you know what? I'll do it. And he waited a week and he got married to Rachel and he decided that he would work the other seven years, but he was so happy with Rachel. Now, there are some points to remember. There are times in life, things do not go our way. Things are just not fair. We, do, we did all that we were supposed to, but things did not go our way. Now, how we deal with the issue is very important. What we have to remember, we have to remember our goals. What do we want? The way we, be, we behave can determine if we will reach those goals. Now, we have to remember also that Jesus is the biggest love of our lives. And some individuals may do things to try to take him away from us, but we always have to remember the goal is staying in love with Jesus. So let us work on a relationship with him so we can always have him in our lives, regardless of what happens. Now, if I were to say the story in, in rhyme, it will say something like this. Jacob wanted to add happiness to his life and was happy to have Rachel as his wife. So he gladly agreed to work for seven years, but after the wedding, he was full of tears. Laban proved to be a great deceiver and tricked Jacob into marrying Leah. Jacob was upset, but it was all in vain. He had to work seven more years again. All right, it is time for what is the answer. Let's go. Question number one. When Jacob met Rachel, what was she doing? A, she was cooking. B, she was sewing. C, she was taking care of sheep. Or D, she was gardening. And if you say C, she was taking care of sheep, you are correct. Question number two. Rachel was older than Leah. Is that true or false? Rachel was, uh oh, Rachel was, A, Rachel was the older sister and Jacob loved her. A, so let's do it again. It's either A, B, C, or D. A, Rachel was the older sister and Jacob loved her. B, Rachel was the younger sister and Jacob loved her. C, Leah was the older sister and Jacob loved her. Or D, Leah was the younger sister and Jacob loved her. Is it A, B, C, or D? Hmm, well, let's see. Jacob loved Rachel, right? So let's see now, was Rachel the older sister or the younger sister? Rachel was the younger sister, so it is B. Rachel was the younger sister and Jacob loved her. Question number three. How many years in all did Jacob have to work for Rachel? A, six years. B, 12 years. C, 14 years. Or D, 15 years. And if you say C, 14 years, you are right. He worked seven years and he had to work seven more years. So in all, he worked 14 years, wow. And question number four, what statement is correct concerning Laban's deception? A, what Laban did was right since Jacob was a deceiver also. B, Laban was wrong since he did not keep his word. C, Jacob should not be upset but should have expected it. Or D, Laban had the right to do anything he wanted with his daughters. Is it A, B, C, or D? And if you say B, Laban was wrong since he did not keep his word, you are right. We are supposed to keep our word. 
All right, boys and girls, I thank you so much. And now it is prayer time. So let us bow our heads and let us close our eyes. Our Heavenly Father, there are times when situations work against us. During these times, we pray for your wisdom so we can do what is best. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, once again, I thank you for watching Uncle C's Bible Lessons. If you want to email me, my email address is unclecbiblelessons at gmail.com. But as always, please receive your parents' permission before writing. Well, I thank you for being with me through the month of September where we discuss Jacob. We will discuss somebody else in October. And as you go through this week, I want you to remember that God loves you very much. Bye for now.